Earth turns to gold in the hands of the wise. Rumi. Welcome, enlightened viewers, to Golden Age Technology. Today, in the first episode of a two-part program, we are introducing to you an architectural innovation that's based on age-old principles and a readily available material, Earth. The California Institute of Earth Art and Architecture, or CalEarth, is a California-based nonprofit organization which seeks to provide self-help information on sustainable solutions for building human shelters, particularly for use by developing nations and in those areas impacted by natural disasters. Hello, my name is Nader Khalili. I'm an architect, and here is CalEarth, California Institute of Earth, Art, and Architecture. And what we are doing here, we're trying to build with earth under our feet, the structures that will be very useful to people around the world. Emergency shelter, refugee shelter, housing made with sustainable elements of earth, water, air, and fire, and solar and the wind and then teaching them to people around the world so that they can create their own shelter, their own community with what is available to them. CalEarth was founded in 1986 by the late Nader Khalili, who was a world-renowned Iranian-American architect and the inventor of the Super Adobe Construction System, as well as the author of books in the areas of earthen architecture. He has also published books with his translations of poems by Rumi, the 13th century Persian poet and Sufi master. For his contributions to the field of architecture, Mr. Khalili received the Excellence in Technology Award from the California Council of the American Institute of Architects, or CCAIA, in 1984 for the Ceramic Houses System. In 1987, he was awarded a Certificate of Special Recognition from the United Nations International Year of Shelter for the Homeless and from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, or HUD, for his project on housing the homeless. Mr. Khalili's architectural works also include the design of sustainable communities in California, USA, Isfahan, and Iran. Our Supreme Master Television correspondent recently visited CalEarth's campus in Hesperia, California, USA, and interviewed Mr. Ian Lodge, the director of the Institute, who gave us some insights into the life and accomplishments of the compassionate Mr. Nader Khalili. And I met this fascinating fella called Nader Khalili. Very bright eyes and always like had a line, you know, always had a joke, and very poetic, very mystical. Where's Nader come from? He's from Iran. And apparently by the time he was 17, 18, he just wanted to go out into the world, and he studied philosophy and poetry and so on in Turkey, and architecture, and he came to the US and studied architecture, became a licensed architect. Mr. Khalili's work was greatly inspired by the wisdom of Rumi. I think what's kind of interesting about Nada was that he was reading Rumi all his life. So as an instructor and as an architect, he was really informed by the words and work of Rumi. Nader Khalili gifted to the world a construction style called Super Adobe, where soil, sand, clay, gravel, and rocks are stuffed in bags which serve as the building blocks for structures. This building is really an adobe building, or an earthen building, but we're calling it Super Adobe because Nader integrated some modern ideas and some modern engineering along with the ancient adobe. Okay. So Super Adobe uses barbed wire, two courses of barbed wire go between every layer of bag that you, that you build with. Right. And the engineers have told us that with this barbed wire it adds an incredible amount of reinforcement for the building. So Super Adobe then consists of long tubes rather than short tubes rather than the small bags we use longer bags because it just is easier to build and makes it simpler for the everyday person right. 
Building with Super Adobe means lower construction costs and increased sustainability, as Earth in practically any location in the world is suitable for use. But how long does it take to construct a Super Adobe structure? You could easily build this structure in a month with six people. Again, it's all Earth. The, the way that we create the openings here, this window, is you place some sandbags where you want the opening to be and you mold the sandbags into the shape of the opening that you want and then you cut the sandbag and the material pours out and you have an opening so it's a great way to create an opening out of just the same materials sandbags and earth these benches are cast in, which means that they're, they're poured using um, a certain amount of cement. Uh, in this case, it was 15% cement, just with the desert sand. And uh, as you see, it provides pretty substantial seating. Behind you here is a little apse. It's a, seat, um, a, a sort of seating apse, uh, or a storage apse. And an apse is an architectural term that just means a little addition. So this apse could be a sleeping spot for somebody. After these short messages, we'll continue our interview with Mr. Ian Lodge and find out how Mr. Khalili's technology is being adopted throughout the world. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Gracious viewers, welcome back to Golden Age Technology as we continue our program featuring Cal Earth, a nonprofit organization that promotes environmentally orientated arts and architecture that was founded by Iran born architect and humanitarian Nader Khalili. Cal Earth's focus has been on spreading the knowledge of its inexpensive and sustainable building methods for use in the construction of emergency shelters and homes for the disadvantaged in developing countries. The simple shelter building technology has aided many people around the world, including the earthquake victims in Pakistan in 2005, refugees in the Bani Najjar camp in the Khuzestan province of Iran, as well as people affected by floods in Senegal. So, in this area here, we have the emergency shelter village. And the idea behind this is that it shows the possibilities to create shelter in a disaster or after a disaster and shelter that can be constructed in a matter of hours and uh, obviously if a family was four people we might make the shelter a little bit larger and it might take a day to construct rather than two hours which is what our smallest seven and a half foot structure takes two hours so uh, this shows possibilities of clustering um, and it's all based off sandbag construction technique which Nada Kalili pioneered over the last 30 years. Besides international relief activities, Cal Earth organizes workshops to teach Mr. Kalili's building techniques. This place now functions as a place to, to try ideas out. We'll have something like 20 workshops per year, two per month, and students contact us from all over the world, and they come here to learn how to build a simple house for themselves. And many times it's just private individuals who can't afford a mortgage, you know, who maybe have some land in a part of the world that they inherited, or they have access to land, but they don't have capital, they don't have money, but they have labor. And so for people like that, this offers a fantastic solution for low-cost housing. 
So we teach here at Cal Earth. That's a big part of our mission. The workshops involve a unique teaching method. Let's talk a little bit about your hands-on workshop. Well, the first part of the education is seeing the buildings. When you take a tour of this place, suddenly you, you, you can see possibilities that you didn't understand before you saw it. So Nada used to always say that 50% of the, the training is just to see it and digest it. Um, in terms of the pragmatic content of the workshop, we begin with a demonstration of gravity Part of uh, what I think separates Cal Earth from other kinds of building approaches is that we're building in a way that's in harmony with gravity and in harmony perhaps more broadly with nature. So when you have a load coming down, gravity's pushing down and when you use the geometry of an arch, the load is coming down here and it puts the arch into compression right. and it takes the load down to the ground in a very efficient way. The cleverness of it is that you can span from point A to point B with no support because the arch naturally will take the load down to, to, to the ground. Practicing the construction method is an important aspect of the workshops. What are these on the ground? All these white lines? Ah, the yes. Field. Right, I know it looks like crop circles or something. The fact is that this is the footprint of a building. So we had a workshop here, about 20 people here last week. And they learn how to lay out the base of one of these domes. As you see, they're all circles. So this is basically what we call the footprint, footprint. of the building. Everything you see here at Cal Earth was built by students. <laughs> under the direction of Nada, but it was totally untrained people like me, a musician living in LA, I come here, suddenly Nada just throws you in and you're building, you're plastering and that's one of the appeals of this building as far as I'm concerned, I'm still not a builder I mean I've built three houses but I'm not a builder I learned to do this in about three months and I built a lady's house for her completely by myself so this is simple work to assist people in developing nations, Cal Earth has established local training centers in several countries around the world. Somebody comes to us and they say, hey, we're interested in what you're doing, and we live in uh, Colombia. And this just happened, actually. Some people came from Colombia, they were interested in this kind of housing. And so, in fact, we have um, relationships with this new group that we just met and we're hoping that we can have a satellite campus in Colombia. We'll also have the same conversation happening with a group that came from Spain because Spain's close to Africa right. where there's tremendous need so we'll have the same goal and we're now coming together and making an agreement so that we can have a campus in Spain, we can have a campus in South America, we're, we're offering workshops in Australia and um, we'll have a workshop in Portugal in the autumn. So what we're trying to do, apart from the education on site and the research on site, we're trying to do outreach and get this information out to other parts of the world that cannot come here so easily. We salute Cal Earth for its active efforts to disseminate a simple yet valuable construction technology to benefit the world. Please join us again next Friday on Golden Age Technology, where we will have more on Cal Earth and the unique style of sustainable housing that they promote. Thank you for being with us today on For Our Program. Coming up next is vegetarianism, the noble way of living, after noteworthy news. May individuals and communities worldwide be blessed with safe and sustainable shelters. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash GAT.